up guys, this is One on One, only on SourceFed. My name is Ellie Morgan and we're here today with- Harley, AKA Sauce Boss, AKA Michael Jordan of Meat, AKA Bieber of Bacon, AKA I don't give a f ah. what you think. Yeah, get it. Nice. Oh. All right, thanks for joining us today, Harley. Okay, this is ridiculous. All right, we are here with Harley Morenstein. Harley, thanks for joining us. It's my pleasure. All right, so uh, we're gonna jump right into it. Word on the street is that you used to be a teacher. How bad did that suck? It didn't suck that bad. Yeah. I enjoyed it a little bit. It was my okay. life, thank okay. you very much. And well, it was cool, but then I was like, oh, the kids, and then, yeah. you know, drink on YouTube. Did you tell them that before you left? I was like, congratulations, I wish you the best of luck in the future, yeah. and <laughs> you. Oh, what subject did you teach? I taught media. I taught them about all that uh, YouTube bull. Have you ever thought about going back temporarily? and just? Yeah. I get a call the all the time to uh, substitute. Mm -hmm. If you were to go in as a substitute teacher now, what would you instill upon the children? I wouldn't really change my tactics. I used to have some guerrilla teaching tactics. Mm -hmm. I used to like to troll the students. I used to like bringing in the TV and having it set up at the front of the class. So you don't remember when you were yeah, in school, oh, yeah, you'd yeah. come you know in and exactly the, the TV's means. at the front, yeah. and you're like, oh, Sweet. what, I know what it's that yeah. kind of the class, you know? And I would do attendance and everything, and then I'd walk over to it, and I'd be like, oh, what's this from the last class? <laughs> and I'd roll it out. <laughs> Another move I used to do mm -hmm. was, uh, I used to be like, all right guys, everyone grab your textbooks. Grab your text, just throw them on the floor. Yeah. Get rid of those, toss those textbooks away. And they'd all do that and i go, now pick them back up. Once you decided to say goodbye to the children, you went over to YouTube. Obviously you're doing Epic Meal Time right now, which is fantastic. What did you do on YouTube prior to Epic Meal Time? I was actually writing a kid's show. When I said no to teaching, I had a kid's show written out. Have you thought about doing an Epic Meal Time kids version? Yeah, we did a Happy Meal Time. So, okay, you have some older stuff, uh, and we actually have a little bit. We've gone back into the vault. Can you uh, can you explain it a little bit? Well, this was back in the day. We were just owning our skills uh, with editing and camera work and whatnot. The clip is called Pop and Perrier, mm -hmm. and it's a, a rap song about us popping bottles of Perrier and driving around three dudes in the front seat. Three straight guys in a crowd, Victoria. So uh, in your videos, you work with a group of dudes. Can you uh, tell me a little bit about these awesome dudes? Uh, they're not that awesome, for okay. off the battle, let you know that. We got uh, David Huff, he's a nice guy, he eats with a fork and knife. Uh, and there's uh, Tyler, uh, he raps. Epic Mook, he uh, he cooks, does a lot of the cooking. Prince Atari, Muscles Glasses, real name. He's a personal trainer. Okay. And it's funny how Epic Meal Time started was he was in China. Six months later, came back, you know, he was in shape and he was like, yeah, he's like, let's do a YouTube channel. And I was like, all right, it's going to be a workout channel. It'll be six days a week of you training people. On the seventh day is going to be your cheat day. Just like any diet or any training regimen. Yeah. We started on the cheat day, which ended up being a fast food pizza. Yeah. So that was uh, supposed to be a workout video. And uh, we were just like, no, that let's is... get fat instead. So if I, for example, wanted to be a member of your gang, what would be an initiation process to get on board with your awesome crew? Um, you can make a bacon weave. All right, take your bacon out of your bacon pack. Lay down, lay down the strip, strip, strip. This one over. Lay down the strip. Lay down, lay down the strip, strip, strip. This one under. Lay down, lay down the strip, strip, strip. One more strip over here. Lay down, lay down the strip, strip, strip. Congratulations, you did it. That right there, haters, is a bacon weave. Say what you know about bacon weave. What you know about bacon weaves? Okay, so uh, this is going well. Um, I, I could have sworn though we booked the sauce boss. Nah, you don't want Someone. the sauce boss inside of you. Okay, here, here we, we go. go. Ah. You. <laughs> yeah. All right. We got All right. a girl here. Okay, Sauce Boss. Thank you for joining Acknowledge us. Acknowledge the girl. Oh, hi, girl. And the bacon Hi. and the burgers. Oh, this is great. Put a strip uh, in your mouth. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh, you disgusting human. How long does it take you to grow a beard? I've been working on this one for about 25 mm. years. I shaved this two days ago. Would you eat a dog? No. Can you classify everyone of your group with what they are known to do when you are out and about having a fantastic time? I'm known to get drunk and be nasty. Muscles and glasses, he kind of walks into the club or the bar or wherever, he like sees girls and he goes, and then they roll out together and then he's gone. I don't believe that actually happens. Yeah, genuinely. The power of aviator sunglasses. So if, uh, if that's muscle glasses superpower, what's your superpower? Telepathy. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you a political question right now. What is your opinion on the Buffett rule? And of course, by Buffett rule, I mean turkey bacon. Oh, mm -hmm. my opinion. Yeah. I like regular bacon better. If you're stranded alone on an island. I'd eat it. So what do you say to everybody out there who hates you? Hi. 
How many fist fights have you been in? One fist fight when I was 19. It was against like eight other dudes. And my buddy was like a huge gorilla frame. He was like, bam, bam, bam. Like literally hitting people on top of their skulls. And I was like, go, go gadget arms from the back. Like, <laughs> it was cool. I learned that day that when you punch people on the, on the head, mm -hmm. you really damage your fist. Really? Yeah. So now I'm going to be a stomach puncher. So if you fight me, I'm going to punch you in the stomach. If we were to get into a fist fight, which could happen, who do you think would win? I think the weakest guy on Epic Meal Time can take you out very quickly. Okay. Well, I've seen the guys on Epic Meal Time, and they're they're all significantly larger and hairier. I think if Epic that... Meal Time fought Source Fed, it would be disgusting. I think how much you guys would get your asses. Kicked. Is that a challenge? Is that yeah? It's a challenge. Source fed versus epic meal time. Pay per view. Okay, YouTube right. event. Do it. I'm gonna get my boy Tyler to suck your dick. <laughs> At no point did we establish that that would be happening. Well, obviously, you've, I thought never, it was you've a obviously fight. never been involved in a Canadian street fight. All right, so you know what? All right, fine, whatever. I don't give a crap. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do an eating contest. You're gonna take a burger, and I'm gonna take a burger, and whichever one of us can eat it fastest wins. Okay, sir, choose your weapon. I'll choose this one, because there's a little blonde hair on it. Mm, I'll choose this one, and that's disgusting. All right, one, two, three. I'm proud. You can take this one. I just wanted the free burger, so you win. It doesn't count if you're not being competitive. You have a bad mouth. You have a bad face with your stupid hair. That's really rude. Okay. Whoop. All right, Harley. Are you ready for favorite space off? Yes. All right, so the way this works is I'm going to say favorite anything, and then we're both going to answer at the exact same time, and the people at home are going to decide who's the better human being. Oh, you're going to win this. I'm a bad human being. Okay, here we go. Favorite movie? Seven. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Favorite food? Pizza, Tacos. I mean hamburgers. Favorite adult beverage? Jameson. Alcohol. Let it be known that uh, Jameson is a type of alcohol, so he kind of had the same answer, and therefore I'm as cool as he is. Favorite position to be in during sex? Crying Upside down. in the bathroom. Hmm. Favorite band or musician? Beastie Weezer. Boys, because they rap. Favorite cuss word? Bl all short. <laughs> anything Maybe Now we're buy some peas and carrots and stuff. You have a horrible mouth. So are you ready? For Twitter lightning round. Twitter! Lightning! Sparrow Melody asks, what extinct or mythological creature would you eat? Eat a narwhal. Ah, unicorn. That nah, narwhal. I'll eat them both. I'll take strips of both and wrap them on things. Phantasma Man asks, what is your least favorite food? Awesome name. Dried apricots and dried papayas. Ah. you. Lainey Espic asks, if you can fly her out to do an episode of Epic Meal Time because... She loves bacon. How old is she? I don't know. Probably, I would guess, oh, 11. That would, that would, oh, 11. No, she stays in school. She's 19. She's, uh, she's pre-med. Yes. Real Alex Mathis says he saw a billboard once that says bacon causes rectal cancer. Are you concerned about this or is it vegan propaganda? Ah, it's vegan propaganda. Bacon makes you smarter. Carlos Espino asks, does being a YouTube celebrity help you with the ladies? It's elebrity. I know. Finally, Anna Miller asks, if you were able to make first contact, what would you give our alien friends? A fucking bacon pen. What were those words that you just said? Just words. <laughs> okay, so anyway, back to YouTube. If you could instill any piece of knowledge in an inspiring YouTuber, what would it be? I learned that consistency is most important, whether you're doing well or not, you know? You make it because you want to make it, and you make it as such. I mean, if Epic Meal Time, if I didn't like making it, it would be a pretty shit if I had to. Right. Get drunk and eat bacon every single week, right? Again. Yeah. Follow your heart. That's a really nice way of saying, do whatever the f*** ah. you want and just keep doing it. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. Harley, thanks for coming in. Yeah, Epic Meal Time. Click a link at the bottom and check out the Epic Meal Time YouTube channel. Netflix.com slash bacon. Get a one month free movie shop. Epicmealtime.com. Get some t-shirts. Epicmealtime.com. Get some bacon lube. I got you hooked up with everything. All right, guys, that's it for one-on-one. -on -one. Join us next week when we... Next time we eat newfound friendship. <laughs>